I grew up in Anoka, Minnesota, in the same house my whole childhood. My parents had a hardware store located right on Main Street. And um, as I uh, was a high school student and a student in college, I really didn't have the law in mind. I originally thought that I would be an English teacher, and then I thought maybe a history professor, and then only as I um, approached the end of my college career did I think about the law. And what attracted me to the law was that it was practical, it affected real life, and I had a real um, zest to try and um, help other people. And I thought that the law um, provided a way to do that. Um, so I came to it rather, you know, late in, in my uh, career as a student. And uh, I found um, myself lucky enough to have gotten a position right out of law school with Judge Diana Murphy. And at that time, she was a federal district court judge in Minneapolis. And that was a fabulous position for me because I saw how a good judge operates. And I saw the great position that a judge is in. Um, later in my career, I really enjoyed being an advocate, but I most appreciated being in that position of a court where you're hearing the arguments from both sides and you're trying to decide what's most reasonable given the law and given the facts. And I just thought that that was a really privileged position to be in. And so once I had clerked for Judge Murphy, I had in the back of my mind, gee, it would be great if someday, you know, I could be on the bench at some level doing that kind of work. But I really took a long uh, sort of cir circuitous route to, to the court because I, um, I did a number of things. I was first in private practice and I practiced, um, represented both plaintiffs and defense, um, so that was helpful. And I represented individual people as well as um, big institutions throughout my career. So that was very helpful too, getting that perspective. And then I made a big switch and went into criminal law. And I first uh, went to the Attorney General's office and did criminal appellate work. And that's how I found my true love of uh, appellate advocacy. Um, I appeared in, in this court and before the Supreme Court a number of times, and I just loved that experience of trying to explain a case, looking at the intricacies of the law, the, the sort of civilized setting that it was in where we were really focused on legal issues. I just thought that was a delight. But I, I did some other work. I was a prosecutor at both the state and federal levels. I did some work at the Attorney General's office. I was in management there for a number of years. And I also went back into a civil practice at that point for the uh, state, representing the State Department of Human Services. So I had quite a very um, broad career and that practice actually has helped me a lot um, because judges are generalists. So we hear cases from all of these courts. So after all of that, I applied to be on the Minnesota Court of Appeals and I was uh, fortunate to be appointed to that position. And then I applied to the Minnesota Supreme Court and after a few tries uh, was able to come here.